Hey everybody, welcome to Code with Vinny. Today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy an Express server on AWS Lambda. So one thing you should know about Express servers is that they're not really built to run on serverless uh, out of the box and Lambda is a serverless uh, function. So we're going to have to modify our Express server a little bit to get this working, but it's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to have to do is install serverless HTTP. So let me go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and require serverless HTTP. OK. And the one thing that we're going to have to add is a handler at the bottom that exports our app wrapped in this serverless function that we imported over here. OK. And we're going to have to remove the app.listen because that will not work for serverless. And that means we don't need the port anymore as well. And this is essentially all you really have to do um, to get your Express server ready for your serverless. Um, the one thing I will say is that the base route won't really work when we deploy to our Lambda function. So if I just had slash, uh, it's not going to work. So that's why I'm using hello for now. Um, yeah, so just one thing to, to be cautious of. Try not to use the, the base route. You're going to run into issues. But now our Express server is ready to be deployed on Lambda. So let's go to AWS. Okay, so let me go to Lambda real quick. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to create a Lambda function and we'll go ahead and call it Express. Leave the runtime as Node. Uh, x86 architecture is perfect. Okay, so as you can see, we've successfully created our Lambda function. Okay. And it just gives us some, some basic uh, Lambda code, but we don't want to use that, right? We want to use our expressor that we just created. So the easiest way to deploy our code onto the Lambda function is actually to upload it from a zip file like we can see here. So we're going to go ahead and take our code and make it a zip file. So I'm just going to take everything and compress it and you can see I created an archive.zip and we're gonna go ahead and upload from a zip file okay and click the archive okay so I have successfully uploaded our code onto our lambda function so if we go to index we can see yep there's all of our code perfect so there's one last step we're gonna have to go ahead and add a trigger and what we're gonna use is API gateway to do that so let's go on to API gateway and we're gonna go ahead and create a rest API okay and we're gonna click new API and then we'll just call this express as well that's fine and create the api okay so our api is created uh, and we're going to need to go ahead and add a resource so click create resource and we're going to configure as a proxy resource and essentially what that's going to do is it's going to forward the request uh, to our lambda function so uh, if we do a request to our api gateway url and it has a body, it's going to forward that body to the Lambda function um, so our Express server can use it. So that's exactly what we want. And we're going to enable API Gateway cores. And we'll go ahead and create this resource. And then here it wants us to basically allow it to invoke our Lambda function. So here we just have to put Express because that's the name of our Lambda function that we created earlier. Okay, so that all should be good. And you're about to give API Gateway permission to invoke your Lambda function. Yep, that's exactly what we want. Okay, cool. And the last step is we actually have to deploy our API. So we're just going to create a new stage and just call this prod is what I typically do and deploy it. So now that we've deployed the API, uh, we actually get a URL that we can use. Um, so let me just open that real quick and let's go back to our lambda function real quick so i can show you something express so as we can see here we actually have our api gateway as a trigger that 
invokes our Express server, which is perfect, right? So here's the URL we get, and uh, th this is the URL for our API gateway, and we can see that we're missing an authentication token. And what this is actually saying is that we're not hitting a, the correct route, as we can see here. Hello um, is the route we want to hit, so you want to put in the API gateway URL, uh, slash prod, slash hello. And if we run this, we get hello world. So that's just a quick tutorial on how you can deploy an express server on uh, AWS Lambda. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.